Yeah, I remember the, the, the first match in Japan very well, actually. The, the match itself, it was, a, it was a Lions Tour year, so it was my, my first sort of Tier 1 test match, Japan against Ireland. So a lot of the sort of Irish stars were on, were on the Lions Tour to New Zealand at, at that time. Um, and I was away for two games. I did the first test in, in Osaka, and then I ran touch then for the second game in, in, in Tokyo. I, I don't remember much about Japan. The only thing that stood out to me and I remembered well was how welcoming him everybody was, that the people were, were, were lovely, um, and they would go out of their way to, to help you or to accommodate you. I suppose what's quite unique about refereeing Japan, and particularly in Japan, is how polite the team itself is. And that comes, I suppose, from the culture of the value of respect they have. And rugby has that huge value of respect anyway. But in Japan, the, the team are such respectful. And so are the crowd as well. You know, you've I've been here now on touch for two tests and then refereeing the game that I'm doing against Georgia. But I've yet to hear the crowd boo the referee at all. And I wish we could say that about every game we referee. If you're away for a block of two or three weeks like this, you tend to be with the same ARs and, and TMO for that, for that block, really. And this is my 83rd test match on Saturday, but, but then even running touch for, for Nick Bryant and Nick Berry, who were doing, you know, their, their first few test matches. You learn something off him. So, you know, even the most experienced learn off the most inexperienced and, and vice versa. So it's, it's, it's great to have the team environment and work as a team because you, you can't referee a test match on your own anymore. Those days are gone. You can't do it. And, and the better you are as a team and work together as a team, then the better performance you can put in on that field as, as a team together. The only way for us to get a good outcome like we've done over the last two weeks is you know, by, by, by good teamwork and working hard for that. I'm excited about refing Japan Georgia tomorrow, really looking forward to, to it. Haven't done this fixture before, Japan Georgia. We did the brief yesterday. There's a couple of things that came up then from the coaches yesterday, a couple of queries, something for us to sort of be aware of as, as, as a team. So we just, just covered that this morning and stuff as well then and just cleared off a couple of things, really. Yeah, number one is today. Um, actually, I've got to in my shirt, actually. Um, there's a few things I can't do, but one thing I can't do and, and I hate doing is, is ironing. I, I can't iron. Um, I was actually taught how to iron a shirt by Alan Roland out in South Africa when I was running touch for, for Rollers quite a few years ago. Kickoff is 2.45, so we haven't got much time really then. In the time we get up in the morning, a bit of late breakfast, have a chat with the, with the two ARs and the TMO. Check you've got everything. Make a couple of notes in my notebook then, just sort of things to sort of make sure that I'm ready and, and focused on, on the key areas I need to focus on. Glancing through those again now and, and recapping on, on the focus areas um, for, for the game today then, really. Well, it's not bad, is it? By the time I get in the car and sit down now, it won't make much difference, so yeah, I'll, I'll settle for that. We get picked up at 12.45. I usually try to get to the stadium. I like getting there about an hour and a half, hour 20 before the latest. Put the music on, ask the, the test judges and the TMO what, what, what their favourite song is, and I add that and then on to the playlist then. A little to the music in the changing rooms then to help her relax and, and get ready for the game. Have a little wander out in the field and then usually about an hour before you do the boots of the players, um, speak to the front rows, you're there then if the coaches or players want to ask you any questions or something and then start when you're stretching then and uh, start warming up and stuff then. So it's um, quite a lot of doing it in, in, in a day and getting prepared really like, you know. I'm still excited, I still love refereeing. And yeah, if I'm selected to go to the World Cup, I will go there and do what I always do in a referee, a test match or any matches, is to go there and, and do my best. And uh, it will be pretty special out here, I reckon. And now, please welcome the Tigers to the field. 
it probably will, I guess, for many, many, many of those supporters, be a, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. So if you are thinking about it, certainly go for it, because it'll be a wonderful experience, not only in the rugby, but also in the Japanese culture and in the country itself as well. Enjoyed out here, enjoyed here hugely, and uh, and hopefully, um, if, if I'm selected, I'm um, hopefully um, if I am, I'll be back here in, in 2019. It's, it's been absolutely brilliant here. The welcome we've had, the, the liaison officers, and everybody involved in, in looking after this year have actually gone out of their way to make this such a brilliant trip for us. And um, you know, I've enjoyed here, but uh, there's no place like home.